Okay, I think we've started selecting the pen. All right, continuing with the foundation course, we're looking at 1.3, that's section 1.3 on fractions, uh, page 12 to 13. I'll just be grabbing a few examples from here. Some will be homemade. By the time we get to question two, they're asking us to change simple fractions into percentages. Um, so we better do some of the basic ones that you just ought to commit to memory. Let's start with the world famous one. Uh, we've got a half is about 50%. Reason being, uh, a half of 100 is 50, so that figures, doesn't it? Now, half of a half is in fact a quarter. So if half of a half is a quarter, just in, imagine it like a piece of pizza all carved up for you. A half of 50 is 25, therefore um, we have quarter is 25%. Uh, by the same reasoning, if we cut the quarter in half to get an eighth, we can cut the 25% in half, which is 12 and a half percent or 12.5 percent easy enough all right we'll try this one we'll try a fifth well one fifth of a hundred is 20 so that's 20 percent and then we can start playing with things like uh, two fifths so one fifth is 20 two fifths is 40 percent etc got the idea uh, coming up here now if we have a quarter then we can go for three quarters well, if a quarter is 25%, then three quarters has got to be three lots of 25, 75%. Uh, another famous one, a tenth. Well, a tenth of 100 is 100 divided by 10. Therefore, that gives us 10%. Uh, therefore, we go for three tenths, for example. Three times 10. Well, that's going to be 30%. I'm sure this is all very basic for GCSE, but it doesn't hurt to revise, does it? Uh, I don't know, seven tenths. 70%. I think we'll stop that one now. Uh, here's a real beaut. Uh, let's go for one third. Now, think for a moment. A third of a hundred. If you put, if you was to put one divided by three in your calculator, um, you'll get 0.333333333333333, etc. So it's 0.3 recurring. If you take your hundred and divide by three, in order to find a third of a hundred, then you'll get this: 33.3. Three, 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 three. So I'm going to put recurring there instead. Um, try it. Uh, just convince yourself it's true. So if you just believe that a third is 33.3 .3 recurring percent, then two thirds must be exactly twice as much. Um, double the 33, 66. Double all those 0.3 recurrings. We've got 0.6 recurrings. So 66.6 .6 recurring percent means exactly two thirds. Is that okay? Now can we move on? Yeah, let's move on from that. Um, changing colour because I'm changing a different to a different issue now. They've got things like um, again looking straight at question three. They've got simple fractions like let's have a look two and a half. Sorry, two and a quarter plus a half. Um, can you visualise that? Now, if you know that two and a quarter is fine, but that in fact one half is in fact two quarters. Can you see we've actually got all together two and three quarters. Is that alright? Nice basic fraction work there. Not too frightening. What about two and a half plus three quarters? If we upgrade this to quarters we can call that two and two quarters plus three quarters. Now look at it very carefully uh, in fact, it's so dangerous. I'm going to change colour. Right, so look at this. We've got two quarters, trying to rub it all out, and three quarters. All together, that gives us five quarters. As you can see, we now have a top heavy fraction or an improper fraction. Uh, five over four is, in fact, one whole and one quarter left over. Just contemplate that. Pause the video if you want to. So 5 over 4 is 1 and a quarter. Altogether, we've got 2 and the 1 quarter. That gives us, altogether, 3 and 1 quarter. And there's nothing wrong with setting it out like that whatsoever. I think I've got space for one more before I turn the page. So let's go for this one right here. I've got 2 and a half, sticking with the red at the moment, plus 2 tenths. Now look, uh, 1 half can you see that is in fact five tenths? So two and a half is two and five tenths. As you can see, a half is five out of ten. When we come to add on our two tenths, it becomes very, very easy. Well, two is two holes, so put a dirty great big two there. 
5 tenths plus 2 tenths all together gives us 7 tenths. No problem there. I think I'll just change pages and then we'll move on with our discussion. Bam, okay, nice clean page. What can we do here? Oh, right, they want us to multiply whole numbers with a single fraction. Let's go back to black, just nice and dark. Right, let's do this one. It says here, again, I'm looking at question 5, 3 multiplied by a half. Well, if you can see 3 halves, then you've got um, a half and a half makes a whole one, plus the extra half gives us one whole and a half. All right, very straightforward. What about this? 3 multiplied by 1 and a half. A little bit harder to see. So how about if I break it up for you like this? 1 and a half means 1 plus a half. And I have got 3 of that. So imagine that in a bracket now. So I've got 1 plus a half, 1 and a half. Multiplied by 3 outside, that gives me 3 times 1 and a half. Now let me change flavour to red. Everyone likes strawberry. Right, where's that pen gone? Right, so if we say 3 times 1 makes 3, and 3 times a half, well we know 3 times a half makes 1 and a half, so we can put there plus 1 and a half. All together, we will get 4 and a half. And that's quite a painless way of doing it, if you can't see it any other way. Let's try something else challenging. Let's go back to black. Right, I've got it. Uh, I'll take the last question. I presume that's the hardest one there. We're still looking at grade F only. So here we go. We've got 5. Oh, it's gone red. Anyway, 5 multiplied by 3 quarters. Now, a little bit more tricky. If we envisage that as being 5 over 1, because 5 divided by 1 is in fact 5, we can then employ a very simple rule. We can multiply the tops. Um, here we go, 5 times 3, well that comes to 15, and 1 times 4, well that comes to 4. Got a very easy top heavy fraction to unravel. 4's into 15 go 3 times. What's left over? Well, 4 3's are 12, 3 left over to make it up to 15. So we have 3 and 3 quarters left over, and I think we got that one right. Well, I think we deserve a tick for that one as well. That was a tricky one. I don't want to leave him out either, so off we go to him. Where are you, dear? There you go, have a tick for you. Um, any more difficult ones? I don't think so. I think I want to leave that alone for now and just move over to the other page. Right, writing down equivalent fractions, simplifying fractions. I want to go to page 15 straight away. Um, there's a question about Jack. Jack says that, and I'll just write down the sum here. Let's just change to green, because I've not used green yet. Uh, apparently, Jack says that three. Let's get a proper three. It's not coming out very well. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear, what's happening? Let's rub out that green. Try again. Right. Apparently, we got three. Oh, that's better. Three fifths is equivalent to six out of eight. Now let's look at that. According to Jack, that's his name. Yeah. Question three. Um, three fifths is sixths eight. Do we agree? Um, easy to say yes, easy to say no. No marks for guessing. Now, if we look at the top part uh, of each part, so three from the top three fifths and the six for the six eighths, we can convert a six, a three into a six by multiplying by a two. So if I multiply the three by two, I get six. If I multiply the five by two, I will get 10. So, is 6 tenths the same as 6 eighths? Answer, and I will change colour for this to make absolutely clear. Note, we can all see that 6 tenths is not the same as 6 eighths. So Jack is wrong. Naughty Jackie. So here we go. Put a cross there for him. Is that alright? There are other ways of doing it. I could have converted those into decimals if I wanted to. But I'm just sticking with the fractions at the moment. Now, question five talks about simplifying all sorts of fractions. I've got lots of space on the page over there. So what I'm going to do is move over with my black pen and simplify some fractions for you. So if I aim to about there somewhere, get my pen to that place. Right, I'm sort of there right now. Okay, let's do some very simple ones. 
uh, 2 out of 18. Well, what goes into 2 and 18? 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 18 9 times, so 2 eighteenths is a ninth. And what my brain did was this. I divided by 2 there, and I divided by 2 there. Uh, is that alright? Very simple. Let's try another one. Uh, I'll leave that one alone. I think I'll try something like 25 thirtieths. Looks terrifying, but you need to ask yourself what is a common factor of 25 and 30? I think you can see that 5 is going ever, ever so nicely. So if I decide to divide the top one by 5, got to do the same to the bottom, otherwise they won't shrink down in the correct proportion. So 25 divided by 5, what have we got? Well, that's 5. 30 divided by 5, that's 6. I uh, hope you can see that 5 6 cannot be reduced down any further, so it's simplified as far as it can go. Space for one more. Put it over here. Let's go for 36 over 48. Now, if, if we start getting into big number mode, you may think, well, I can't do it in one go. You don't have to do it in one go. Nobody has to do it in one go. In fact, let's just do it uh, simply. Let's just uh, divide by 2, shall we? Because everyone can do that. Well, if divide by 2, half of 36 is 18. Half of uh, 48 is 24. And already it's looking very unthreatening. Hopefully that will fit on the screen. Uh, again, the two even numbers. Half of 18 is 9. Half of 24 is 12. Well, we can't halve the 9 any, anymore, but we can see that 3 is going ever so nicely into the 9 and the 12. So, um, 3 is into 9, 3 times. 3 is into 12, goes 4. So actually, 36 out of 48 is the same as 3 quarters, and we've landed it. What about down here? Coming up to 12 minutes this video, maybe time to move on. Let's simplify this one. I've got a 24 over 60. I'm looking at uh, question 6 now. Again, these are just samples. Um, if you want to go big factors, by all means do so. If you want to keep it simple, keep it safe, just half it down. Uh, 12 over 30. Uh, even numbers, half it down again. 6 over, that's not really good, is it? 6 over 15. Oops, 15 is not an even number. Uh, I'm not going to start crying and you know start calling out for my mum. Uh, I can put 3s into 6 and put 3s into 15. So 3s into 6, go twice. 3s into 15, go 5 times. And yippee, I've landed it. Now, this video is long enough, let me just sign it off. Okay, place for a signature and stick it over here. So that's me, Mr. C, have fun. Um, obviously, look at the video.